Now to the coronavirus vaccines. We are learning more about how they affect women who are pregnant. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons has been tracking this issue since December. Now he spoke to some local experts who are leading the research to try to ensure these vaccines are safe for mother and baby. When Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson did clinical trials on their COVID-19 vaccines, they didn't include pregnant women in their studies. That meant researchers had to wait until the vaccine rollout and then ask pregnant women to participate. It's taken months, but the numbers are starting to come in and the results are promising. I think all, all data so far point to um, this, this seems to be good for, for the mom and the baby. Dr. Christina Chambers runs the Mother to Baby program at UC San Diego. They've been working for months to study the effects of the vaccine on pregnancy. Right now, they have 600 women enrolled in the program with 1,200 more waiting. We're going to be able to look at, you know, uh, first, second and third trimester uh, exposures. Um, and we have a really nice distribution of the different brands of vaccine as well. So we'll be, be able to look at all of those. We'll follow these uh, moms and their babies up for at least a year. Dr. Chambers hopes their research can help answer any question a pregnant woman may have about the vaccine and if it's safe. New info from the CDC is helping her cause. The VSAFE program, which lets people self-report side effects of the vaccine, is tracking nearly 115,000 pregnant women. A report in April found very little difference between pregnant and non-pregnant women for side effects, including pain, fatigue, headache, myalgia, chills, and fever. The CDC has also followed more than 800 vaccinated women through the end of their pregnancy. They found 12.6% resulted in miscarriages, well within the range of what's considered normal for pregnancies. Among the babies born, 9.4% were premature, 3.2% were considered small-sized, 2.2% had birth defects, and there were no neonatal deaths. All those percentages are also comparable to what's considered normal outcomes for pregnancies. So far in the, in the data that has been collected, um, they don't seem to see anything that would suggest anything uh, over and above what the usual outcomes of pregnancy might be. So that's incredibly reassuring. Meanwhile, a study out of Boston found that pregnant women who get the vaccine get the same level of immunity as non-pregnant women and that antibodies were present in cord blood and breast milk. That means a pregnant or breastfeeding mother could pass immunity along to her child. For Dr. Chambers, it's more proof that expectant mothers can and should be vaccinated. I think there'll always be people who will say, it's, you know, I, it's just not for me. Um, but with um, additional safety data that is being accumulated now, I think more people will feel confident that, it, that it's acceptable to get it. Officially, the CDC still says pregnant women should consider getting a COVID-19 vaccine because there's no reason not to get one. Dr. Chambers hopes that as more information comes out, that changes to a full recommendation. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now, the Mother to Baby program is still taking volunteers for their study, and we put their contact info on our website, 10news.com. And if you have a story that requires an in-depth look, we would love to hear from you. Send an email to that address, tips at 10news.com. <music>